Hello everyone! In today's video, we're going to talk about a technology that's hidden underground. And yes, you guessed it, it's the septic tank. That's right. Today, we're diving into the world of septic tanks, a classic and unique technology that's still widely used even today. In this video, we'll explore the story behind septic tanks, starting from their fascinating history, how they work in a simple yet clever way, all the way to their environmental impact and economic benefits. Even though this technology is still commonly found today and might even be in your own home, the truth is this modern system has been around for hundreds of years. From its humble beginnings to the more advanced systems we know today, the septic tank has gone through a fascinating historical journey. Okay, before the invention of the septic tank, Humans disposed of their waste in the simplest and most practical ways. They would dump it into rivers, seas, or directly into the ground. It wasn't until the height of Roman civilization that the first large-scale drainage system was built. It was called the Cloaca Maxima. Then, in the 19th century, the concept of the modern septic tank was introduced by John Morris, a French engineer who created a sealed concrete tank that could naturally break down waste. In the early 1900s, George J. Weber improved the design by separating solids, liquids, and gases, making the process more efficient. By the 1930s, septic tanks were standardized in the United States, with concrete becoming the main construction material. As innovation continued, the 1960s saw the introduction of aerobic systems and sand filters. And in the modern era, smart technologies like IoT make monitoring easier, while lighter materials like fiberglass make installation more practical. This long journey shows how septic tanks have evolved into an efficient and eco-friendly waste management solution, especially in areas without access to urban sewer systems. Whether for household waste, industrial and commercial facilities, public infrastructure, agriculture, or even modern construction projects, Septic tanks are still widely used today. So, how does a septic tank actually work? First, sedimentation. When wastewater enters the septic tank, it's separated into three layers. The top layer is made up of oils and grease, which float to the surface. At the bottom, solid waste settles as sludge. And in between, there's a liquid layer that will undergo further treatment. Next, we move on to the second stage, Biological decomposition. This is where anaerobic bacteria come into play. These bacteria work without oxygen to break down the organic matter in the waste. This process produces gases like methane and carbon dioxide while also helping to clean the water. Finally, the last stage, discharge. The partially treated water flows out through a special outlet pipe, but that's not the end. It still has to pass through the soil which acts as a natural filter before the water is fully absorbed. So, with this technology, we can clearly see that no waste is dumped carelessly. Every stage is designed to manage and treat the wastewater responsibly. A septic tank is made up of several main components, each playing an important role. First, there's the inlet pipe, which serves as the main entryway for wastewater to flow into the tank. Once inside, the process of separation and decomposition begins. Then, there's the outlet pipe, which allows the treated wastewater to flow out of the tank. But of course, the water isn't just released carelessly. Before it's fully absorbed into the ground, it goes through an additional filtration stage. Next, we have the anaerobic bacteria, the invisible workers that play a key role in breaking down the organic material inside the tank. Without these bacteria, the biological decomposition process wouldn't work effectively. At the bottom of the tank, sludge accumulates. This is the solid waste that needs to be pumped out periodically to keep the system running smoothly. And let's not forget the scum, a layer of fat and grease that floats on top. Even though it may seem minor, this layer needs to be monitored so it doesn't interfere with the tank's operation. So now, the big question. What are the advantages and disadvantages of using a septic tank? Septic tanks come with a number of advantages that make them a popular choice, especially in areas not connected to a centralized sewage system. 
One key benefit is their ability to reduce the burden on city wastewater systems, since household waste is treated on-site without the need for complex infrastructure. Septic tanks are also environmentally friendly. They use natural microorganisms in soil to process waste, which helps minimize the risk of soil and water pollution. Another interesting point is their flexibility. Septic tanks can be installed in a wide range of locations, from rural areas to places far from the city's sewage network. Plus, maintenance is relatively simple. You just need to schedule regular pumping to keep everything running smoothly. And even more impressively, in some countries, advanced septic systems are used to generate renewable energy like biogas through natural waste processing. This kind of technology might be something we'll dive deeper into in another video. However, septic tanks aren't without their downsides. One major limitation is their limited capacity, which makes them less effective in densely populated areas like cities. In addition, septic tanks are not suitable for chemical waste. The system is designed to handle only organic waste, so it's important to use them properly to avoid harming the surrounding ecosystem. As we've seen, septic tanks have a significant impact on the environment, both positive and negative. On the one hand, they offer an energy-efficient and eco-friendly waste treatment solution, while also helping to reduce the burden on centralized sewage systems. But on the other hand, if not properly installed or maintained, septic tanks can pose serious risks, such as groundwater contamination, ecosystem damage, and soil pollution. That's why proper installation and regular maintenance, like scheduled pumping, are so important. With the right management, septic tanks can be an effective and environmentally friendly solution for treating household waste. Now, let's talk about the installation process of a septic tank. Okay, the fact is, the construction process of a septic tank is actually quite fascinating. It involves several crucial steps to ensure the tank is strong, durable, and leak-proof. It all starts with design and planning. The tank's capacity is usually calculated based on the number of people in the household. For example, for a house with four occupants, the recommended capacity ranges from 1,000 to 2,500 liters. Besides that, the tank's shape and material must also be considered, whether it's cylindrical, rectangular, or tubular, and whether it's made of concrete, fiberglass, or plastic. All of this is designed to ensure the septic tank can last for many years. Once the design is finalized, we move on to the construction phase. For concrete septic tanks, the concrete is typically molded using special forms, mixed with materials like cement, sand, and steel wire to enhance its strength. After being cast and hardened, the tank goes through further processing to ensure its quality. Meanwhile, fiberglass and plastic tanks are produced using rotational molding or injection machines, then cooled down to strengthen the structure and improve corrosion resistance. Before the tank is ready for use, there's one more critical stage, quality inspection and testing. Each tank must be tested to ensure there are no leaks and that it can withstand pressure. For concrete tanks, structural strength is tested, while fiberglass and plastic tanks are checked for corrosion resistance. Only after passing the tests do we move on to the installation of additional components. Here, inlet and outlet pipes are installed to manage the flow of wastewater. There's also a baffle placed inside the tank to help separate solids from liquids, allowing the treatment process to run more efficiently. Once everything is ready, the septic tank is transported to the site using special vehicles and the installation begins. The tank is installed by experienced technicians. A pit is dug according to the tank's size and the tank is carefully lowered into place. After that, the piping is connected to the tank, ensuring everything is sealed and positioned correctly. Okay, it doesn't stop there. In fact, the technology behind septic tanks continues to evolve and keep up with the times. There are many advanced innovations that make waste treatment more efficient, eco-friendly, and even improve sanitation. One example is the bioreactor, which uses a combination of aerobic and anaerobic microorganisms to speed up waste decomposition. The result? A much faster treatment process that's also more environmentally friendly. There are even special microorganisms used to accelerate decomposition and reduce odors, making the system even more efficient. Additionally, 
advanced filtration has started to be implemented. For example, using sand filters and activated carbon, the water leaving the septic tank becomes much cleaner and the risk of pollution is reduced. Another significant advancement is the introduction of automatic septic tanks and remote monitoring systems using IoT. Imagine, with an automatic system, the flow of waste and the need for pumping can be managed without manual intervention. Plus, sensor technology connected to the internet allows us to monitor the septic tank's condition in real time and receive early warnings if any issues arise. For spaces with limited room, there are now modular and compact designs that allow the septic tank to be built in separate parts that can be assembled as needed. These compact designs also make installation easier in tight spaces. And even more interestingly, green technology is being applied, such as the use of recycled materials to reduce environmental impact. Furthermore, some septic systems are now harnessing waste to generate renewable energy, like biogas. Finally, there are hybrid systems that combine septic tanks with centralized wastewater treatment systems, offering a more comprehensive solution for waste management. Septic tanks, though simple, play a significant role in sanitation, the environment, and technological innovation. From their early invention to the implementation of biogas systems and their impact on popular culture, septic tanks highlight just how crucial this system is for human life and a clean, sustainable environment in the future.